Well, a staff sergeant at Fairchild Air Force Base will spend the next two years in prison for possessing stolen ammunition. Federal prosecutors say John Sanger devised a plan with other men on base to steal thousands of rounds of ammunition by falsifying records, all at taxpayers' expense. Crime 2's Kyle Simchuk first reported on this case almost two years ago. He's joining us with an update now here in the studio. Kyle? Well, the military and FBI discovered this stolen ammunition ring while they were investigating Singer for something else. Agents believe he was also plotting to overthrow the government and harm American citizens. I opened its investigation into Air Force Staff Sergeant John Sanger in August 2021, when two social media companies reported the 31-year-old had discussed committing violence to advance a political agenda. According to court documents, Sanger used an anonymous name to post, quote, they defrauded our election system and are still getting away with it. That means the system has run its course. People have to die. An undercover agent started chatting with Sanger online, and months into their friendship, Sanger invited him to go shooting at a Fish Trap Lake range. During this hangout, the undercover agent met one of Sanger's friends, Air Force Sergeant Eric Eagleton. Court documents say Eagleton bragged about stealing up to 3,000 rounds of ammo from the base a day. Eagleton told the undercover agent everyone at the combat arms training section knows about the thefts and splits the ammo equally, according to court documents. Sanger and Eagleton were charged and arrested in April 2022. Eagleton was sentenced to six months in prison this June as part of a plea agreement, followed by two years of supervised release. Eagleton was also ordered to pay a $1,000 fine. Sanger recently pleaded guilty to possessing stolen ammunition. Federal prosecutors say he also discussed targeting the Spokane Regional Health Building and COVID-19 testing sites with Molotov cocktails. During a search of his home, agents say they found numerous patches, stickers, and paraphernalia associated with the neo-Nazi movement. Sanger took an oath when he enlisted in the military. FBI Special Agent Richard Collodi says Sanger violated that oath and the trust imparted to him by the American people. Collodi said, quote, I am proud of the work of our investigators and partners to quickly bring an end to Mr. Sanger's conduct before his violent rhetoric turned into action. And a federal judge sentenced Sanger to two years in federal prison, followed by three years of supervised release. Mark and Whitney.